Hi guys, Stuart here from Airshow World and this is part three of trunk tracking. Okay, so what we've done since the last tutorial is I have put a whole load of frequencies in here. Okay, I haven't put any in this one but I say there's not much point because I'm not near there. But okay, so let's have a look what we're going to do okay so I'm going to send <coughs> these to the actual uh, radio and um, don't forget as we mentioned earlier in the uh, tutorial when you send um, your configuration to your radio if you're going to send it via USB first thing switch the radio off Keep the power in, but just switch the radio off. When you've got your USB cable connected, it will say something like charging or whatever, powered by USB. On mine, I've got the clock showing, so it doesn't come up with that um, message. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go back to Easy Scanner and send that across. Right, so scanner, here's the next important thing. Make sure you select the right one. So conf copy configuration two scanner memory card okay let's go for that let's go continue it will be slower than in tutorial number one because it's got to talk to the thing okay I'm going to clear copy because I don't want to copy everything because the only thing we've changed is this new one which we've created you see there's a cross in there to say it's not on there but it will be in a minute so select that copy folders yes always have a double check make sure you're doing everything correct okay let's send it across there we go that shouldn't take that long to do but it will be a lot longer than if you do my preferred method of taking the SD card out putting it into a card reader as you can see this is only one um, trunk channel system it's sending and look how long that is taking that's crazy that really is quite a long time in comparison if um, it was uh, the SD card was in there he would have probably done it in uh, about less than a second okay but anyway that's done it let's send that across alright so let's minimize that and what we're going to do now is actually switch on the uh, radio and as I'm sure you all know you hold the power button the power button in on your scanner for about one to uh, three seconds whatever it takes until it says release the power on and um, yeah that's just initializing in this second we should be able to uh, connect to the radio now I'm doing all of this uh, on this particular machine. Everything is uh, total for this tu set of tutorials. Everything is totally from scratch. So I have not before run um, anything. Everything that I've showed in this tutorial has been started from the very beginning. Okay, so using the control um, thing here that we installed earlier. Yep. This is the first time of running this. So let's have a look, see what we've got. So with a bit of luck, uh, because it's installed the drivers when we installed the software, we should be able to control the radio. Now, you remember in tutorial number one, what we've got to do is try to find out which COM port it, it's settled itself on. Nope, not number one. I bet it's number four, but let's go through the number two. Not that one. Number three, begin not that one so I, I was betting on number four see if went nope let's try number five see I would never bet there we go it's on number five okay let's see what we're going to do so this is just like using your radio so these are the down arrows let's go down to and open that new scanner folder that we uh, created if you don't know what I'm talking about as far as v scanner folders 
have a look at the tutorials and tutorial number one in the original set and it will tell you everything you need to know okay let's go across then I think it was number 18 yeah we go trunking new this is our test one that we created okay we're going to select that so that should have yes it's just opening it now okay and there we go that's going through they're the two we created there's nothing in test p25 but it is there for when we want it okay so let's go back to menu what we're going to do we are going to get that first trunk system running okay the test um, DMR one so down one more browse objects yes let's do that select okay test one that's the one yes okay so hit that and let's run that see if that um, comes up with anything I'll turn the volume up if uh, we're picking anything up um, so it's picking up signals as you can see now if that does pick up a um, if we're looking off at the moment to uh, pick up transmissions um, what it will do it should come up with a T and it should come up with the um, uh, because it's looking see it is looking f in the test for that is the um, to refresh my memory of the correct terminology so we get it all correct for you guys yeah the talk group ID okay so that's looking for the talk group ID that's looking for the radio ID okay so we're just open that, that find something it's just going through and um, the actual um, system that I've set up and um, these are very active at night you notice the T just appear then yeah where you had the S and T that meant that one of those when that T comes up that as it's scanning through th that is the uh, control channel or trunk system it's part of a trunk system you you know that that is a trunk system when you get that T okay um, let's have a look make sure another thing um, when you're doing scanning with digital you don't need any squelch on so let's turn the squelch right off make sure of that so if that term um, picks anything up now what I'm looking for uh, for when it picks anything is when it does I'm going to hit the menu button and then there will be an option to save that particular um, ID that it's picked up okay all right while that's doing that let me show you um, something over here as far as the frequencies are concerned okay because um, yeah obviously I cannot because I as I explained earlier with it being on YouTube I cannot give out the um, frequencies but what I can do is point you in the direction of this yeah now say you're looking for a particular area with some uh, uh, radio frequencies okay so what we want to do I'm looking for have a look license type so business radio okay click that technically assigned okay now just here change that to megahertz okay so from here type in a range say that, that you're looking for so let's go for I don't know say 140 yeah up to 512 512 512 point okay all right let's see I've got that correct that one yeah business technically assigned okay now what I want to do is um, let's switch that to satellite view let's try to f find a particular area so you can zoom in here uh, all right there you go there's somebody talking the right menu have a call it in time okay Okay, 
No, we didn't quite catch that in time. Meanwhile, while we're down here, let's put a tick in there. Okay, see, look, radio ID or talk group wildcard. Okay. Alright, let's go back to menu and scan. Save changes. No. Okay. Right, okay, yes. Where were we? Um so let's look for a particular area, shall we? Um uh, let's yeah, okay, let's zoom in here. Let's zoom into Derby. See what Derby's got to offer. Um, so let's see if we can get anything for the um, uh, the football stadium over there. Okay, so then you click this little box here. All right, so we're going to select that area. Okay. All right, now go submit search. That'll go away and have a little think about it and see what it's come back with. Okay. So, these are all the frequencies that it's come up with. Let's have a look. Now, okay. Now, if there's a lot of different frequencies, yes, what you do is click on that. Yeah, but let's go for the football stadium. Okay. Derby County. So you've got those there. And here there's multiple frequencies. Okay, so click that. Let's have a look, see what we've got. So, yeah, so it is just a case of going okay yeah copy just copy and paste those into a document and then you could put those into your um, radio okay I can tell you they are digital right and if they are um, as part of a trunk system when you're scanning it will come up in a conventional mode okay so probably put them in conventional first and if it comes up with a T yeah, you should. It should. I can't guarantee it, but it should be part of a trunk system. That's what the um, the manual says. Um, but anyway, that's how to be able to find frequencies. Okay. I hope that um, helped. Let's go back to here. As I said, it is pretty quiet at this time of day, so that's why we're not picking too much up here. But when it does and it lands on something on this trunk system immediately hit menu and there will be an another option there and it will say save something like save talk group id okay once it starts scanning again that will be gone okay you won't have that anymore um show you another feature to get the um, control channels that might help if um you don't see the control channels and I like this feature, I must admit. Um, I don't think I should be able to get it at the moment. Um, because I think the radio will need to be switched off to be able to do this. Okay. Read disc. See if I've got any out on the um, audio on the disc. So yeah, basically, if you import your scanner recordings Let's see if I've got any in here no because this is a brand new system okay so if you import your scanner recordings which I will switch the radio off for a moment there we go let's switch that off so yes as you know to get the easy scan to talk to the there we go thanks for the beeps to get it to talk to the uh, computer it has to be switched off but with a plug-in okay 
Now, when you go to get list, that should go to your radio. You can do this. It is a lot quicker, of course, when the SD card is in the computer. But we covered all of that um, earlier. Um, let's have a look. In fact, I'll tell you what. What we're going to do to prove the... Oh, we've got them here anyway. Um, it might not have imported all of them. Uh, let's have a quick look, see what we've got. But, anyway, what you have is the information. Okay, so, you can see, these are the ones I've been running. And it's got the talk group IDs. Yeah. So this is where it's um, with importing the your actual recordings. This was this is why another reason why I um, suggest always having record set on your um, scanning systems. Yeah, because you can import the information and it gives you a lot more information than just playing it back on say your scanner. When you play back the actual uh, recordings via the scanner, yes, in this section it will show information, but it won't show all the information that you have here. Okay? So you won't have all of this. Yeah, and um, chances are it won't show it. Well, it won't. It won't show the control channel. Now, on all of these, as you can see, the control channel is the same. Yep. All the way through. But on the APCO P25 system that I have, um, that I have, uh, you have the same control channel for each particular set and the uh, different frequency okay these these ones here I think these are just standard um, normal ones and digital ones are here back to the digital ones yes we've got um, you can put these in date order okay let's have a look so I can go back that far can I the 16th and the 12th alright not as far back as I'd like to go and let's have a look what we have here. Okay. And then oh, and the and obviously you can just um play 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 them back. That's the whole point of doing this, it's so you can um uh, play them back. But the fact that it gives you a lot more information than it would playing cars parked on the side of the road. They're not all the way down. Well not at the moment they're not. Um well, the register. But yes, there is cars down there. I won't say it's causing an hindrance. I know they shouldn't be parking at the side of the road, but people can get by. Yeah, okay, mate. If you're in back, I'll say we've checked it out, and uh, you know it's not an hindrance at the okay, moment. I'll just let him uh, talk through. Just seeing if we've got any that I've created on the. Um, here we go. Let's see what we had here. We can say again, please. Um, West Dogging Feed, can you just um, confirm West Dogging Flowing? West Dogging Feed, please. Yeah, I'm going to look after one of those. Please, if you don't mind, okay, thank so you. Okay, so the point I'm making here is that them, there you, those, these ones here were done f it, via the... Um, um, let me think what I'm trying to say. Yeah, th th these were done via the uh, trunk system that um, I created th the other day basically the same frequencies as what we created uh, just a moment ago and sent to the radio okay so and we have the uh, radio ID that it's put in automatic yeah you see and your talk group ID so it puts these in okay so what we're trying to say is that you can find out what all your talk group IDs are, your radio IDs, if you didn't catch it in time on your uh, demo, um, thing, yeah, your um, virtual controller. Okay, so 
I hope uh, that um, all makes sense on what I was just going through. Uh, sometimes I think to myself, have I covered everything? But I'm pretty sure that if you follow those instructions that we went through, I think you won't go far wrong. It um, certainly seems to work. I am in an area that has not really got um, proper trunk tracking running okay but I do travel around the country and um, I have had all of these trunk tracking systems working and the key to it is finding what that control channel is especially for the p25 okay I hope I've not confused you by waffling on too much which is um, my habit um, but anyway thanks for tuning in um, don't forget leave it'd be great if you could leave a message give me a thumbs up um, because that encourages me to uh, put uh, maybe some more tutorials out um, for some guys this has probably been absolutely so basic you probably t turn off within the first bit but I know there's a lot of guys out there um, picking these radios up for the first time and just you know, whoa what do I do? What do I do? Hey, I'm still learning myself. All I can show you on here is what I have learned. I'm no expert. This is how I get these to actually work. Okay, so um, for you real um, gurus out there and experts, don't criticize me too much because as I say I'm learning myself. I'm just showing you guys what I have learned. Okay, so. Don't forget to subscribe, click on that um, option that says get notifications and you will always be updated to the very latest videos um, that we put out. Lots of videos out there, I've, if you've seen quite a few of my videos so far, yes, um, you'll know we've got a lot of aircraft videos and also nearly every day we stream live as well so if you'd like to um, have a look see what um, virtual raid radar uh, is all about have a look on the live stream uh, it's quite possibly feeding right now we normally um, do a live stream from about eight o'clock in the morning until about ten o'clock in the evening so um, yep lots of stuff on airshow world thanks for watching and um, we'll catch up with you next time thank you